Welcome to the Everything Yachting YouTube channel. Our goal is to help yacht buyers, yacht owners, and yacht sellers through interesting, educational, and informative discussions on topics that are anything and everything yachting related. Hi again, we're now back just outside of this beautiful Marlowe 2020-66E Magic. We have powered up our remote as we did upstairs. We understand that the thrusters are working, the shifters are working, so we're now ready to leave the dock. So what I want to do, we're going to demonstrate now how we could leave the dock to you guys as helping out. If I'm captain in charge, I can either be up at the helm or I can come down here and help. This is also how you would single hand the boat if I was doing this all by myself. Again, Stern thruster is working, bow thruster is working, so you can see I can move the boat from here just as easy. So ladies, when we start talking about lines, most important is we're gonna start taking a look at what lines are doing the most amount of work. To know that, we need to know which way the wind's blowing and which way the current's going. Right now, the current is going that way. So it's going from the front of the boat to the stern of the boat. Is it ebbing, is it flowing? Doesn't matter it's going that way. <laughs> so we don't really care. You know, somebody's gonna say, oh, well, you've got a flood tide or you have an ebb tide. All that matters to you at this point is which way is it going? Because that means what lines do I wanna save to be my last couple of lines? If I'm single handing the boat or if I'm getting rid of the lines and I have crew on the dock, I'm typically gonna wait and do the stern line last. The reason is, is because that's where we're boarding the boat. We're boarding from the swim platform or this boarding door right here. So I'm gonna save that to last as a captain. So if I'm up here or if I'm down here controlling the boat with the remote, that's what I'm gonna do. So for us as our crew, now you're going to now get direction from the captain about what lines does he want off. So let's identify our line. Here is what we call our aft spring line. Now, people get confused. Dock masters will confuse this all the time because if a dock master is looking here, they're like, no, it's running forward. So that's your forward spring line. An aft spring line is defined as a boat, that, a line that keeps us from going backwards. So that line is keeping us from going that way. What way did we say the current was going? That way. So this is going to be one of my last lines. This is gonna be my third line. Right now I have four lines on. I have a bow line. I have a forward spring, an aft spring, and a stern line. So I wanna make sure that I save this aft spring line because the current's going that way to later, right? So again, thrusters are working. I go, hey, I still have command of the boat. That's a good thing. So before I start releasing any lines, all I'm gonna do is make sure I've got that. So now the line that's doing the least amount of work is my forward spring line. So if we have Eric, he's pointing right here, he can see this line is loose. It's really not doing much of anything. Captain tells me, okay, we're ready to go. We just have a half a hitch in this line. All we do, pull out the line, just wind it up in my hand. The most important part of this is that there's no hurry. You don't have to hurry. People, that's when people start getting in mistakes. That's when people start yelling and screaming is hurries. Remember, we have all this stuff to be able to control the boat. So we don't need to hurry. So all I can do is completely undo the line. I have my forward spring line. It's not doing anything. All I'm gonna do is like when we were kids and we played jump rope, I'm gonna jump the rope over that little rail so that it doesn't end up in the water. I take this one, toss it up and over. Not very heavy, it's all done. Forward spring line is off. I only have three lines left. I have a bow line, I have an aft spring and a stern. Now I want bow line to go. Confirming that the captain, if he's up there or the captain, if I'm here, I have control of the boat especially the bow thruster. Cause I'm getting ready to take off which line? The bow line, right? So now I'm gonna go over here. You can see I have a bow line tied to this cleat right here. All we're gonna do is release this line. So again, taking up all the extra excess, I'm just gonna untie, uncleat the line from here. Before I let go, if I'm single handing, I'm confirming that I have control of the boat. All I'm doing is moving the bow in now I can take this off. Didn't we jump rope before? All I did was jump rope, right? Toss it up and over. It's all there. As captain in charge, I still have control of the boat here. Boat's not going anywhere. I don't need to panic. I don't have to run. There's no hurry, no pressure, right? 
So now I only have two lines left. I have this aft spring line and I have the stern line, correct? So now because I want to save the stern line to last, why? Because that's where we get on the boat. I don't want that stern to go away and me not to have control. I like to keep that one until the end. Now I start preparing this line. So now all I'm going to do, take in the, ac the extra, just like we talked about, right? I just have a half hitch, so I'm just going to release that. Move up to here. Pass the line through the hole. Take it around. Now the line is just about done. So I'm just pulling the line through. Now again, when the boat starts to move, I have control of the boat. So there's no hurry, no panic. So the line is in my hand. Again, all I'm doing is the whole jump rope thing. And we're just going to start to walk towards the back of the boat. So all I'm doing, taking the line very easily, setting it over the rail. Jump rope and over the rail. Done. Now all we're going to do is easily, calmly walk to the back of the boat. No hurry, no fuss. So now we can start to walk back here again. I still have control of the boat here. So now we're going to ask Tina to unhitch this line. You can see how it's wound up. All she's going to do is start to untie that line, just how she's doing. As captain, I'm just holding the boat in its parallel position. And all she's doing is undoing that line. So all it is, is just kind of wrapping it around. You can see, even though the lines are a little wet, we had a little rain earlier, not so bad. And again, the important part of this whole exercise is that there's no hurry. There's no stress, there's no pressure. I want her to feel like she's more than good enough, more than capable to do what we're doing. So now we'll just step on easily onto the swim platform and take the line up to the center. We'll let Tina and Summer go. So Tina and Summer, you guys can walk up to our aft deck. Just take the line with you there, Tina. And all I'm gonna do is step on this beautiful 2020 66 Marlowe E Magic and we're gonna go for a boat ride. We'll be right back in just a few minutes to talk about how we tidy up the deck and make ready for sea. Thank you. Thanks for joining us at Everything Yachting. I hope you've enjoyed diving into the yachting world today. If you've enjoyed or learned something, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Until next time, my friends, healthy families, happy memories, and may fair winds and smooth seas guide your future yachting adventures.